Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. We have been ready to go forever. We're bringing you the update of all things Fukushima. And if I seem like I happen to be in a good mood in order to give you really bad news, that's because I... I'm in a really good mood. Uh, uh, Christelle, please check the uh, level of the battery on the HD. That's because I am in an absolutely wonderful mood. I've got friends over, and unfortunately, I have to give you really bad news, uh, which is all things regarding Fukushima. Once again, we have people in the studio like we did last time. Welcome to make comments at any time. Christelle, say hi to everybody. Uh, this is brought to you, all of Fukushima update, brought to you by Sticker Junkie. By all means, uh, look up Sticker Junkie online. Any possible design that you can come up with. Now, don't do something offensive, because D-Lake for Prez will catch you. He's the man. The man! Uh, go to uh, StickerJunkie.com. Any kind of um, possible artistic configuration that you can make sticker junkie will make for you perfectly so please look them up because they're sponsoring the massive fukushima update friends listen to this um fishermen slam tepco for silence on cesium water dumped into pacific this is written by Christina Sireach, Infowars.com. It's the first time I've ever used Christina Sireach to lead off my Fukushima update. Regular viewers know that I care about my Fukushima update a whole lot because a lot of you trust me to give you the best news on it. Well, she's got the best story that I've seen. It's dated March 2nd, uh, 2015, uh, literally mere hours ago. It's only 4.33 a.m. here. Tokyo Electric Power Company has already been seriously negligent, and there's a link to prove why, if not criminal, in reporting on the true severity of the Daiichi disaster. Now, fishermen from the Fukushima prefecture in Japan are shocked to find out that water containing cesium and other radioactive isotopes has been draining into the Pacific while TEPCO sat silent, there's a link to prove it, and did nothing. For those of you new to the show, what is cesium? Why are you listening to this guy talking to you? Maybe, maybe he's got tattoos and he's got long hair and he's in a band and he doesn't know what he's talking about. Or... Maybe this long-haired guy that's in a band happens to have a little bit of nerd inside of him. And he has studied these things his whole life. I'm 42. Friends, cesium is a cancer-causing radioactive isotope. Democrats that don't like me, gonna kill you. Libertarians who love me, gonna kill you. Republicans, gonna kill you. Oh, but I'm a member of the Green Party, gonna kill you. Do you understand what I'm reporting on yet? This isn't a matter of if you agree with me. This is a matter of scientific fact. If you don't believe me, look up cesium and cancer, and then you'll come back and you'll watch the rest of the show. TEPCO apparently knew about the leak since last May. Fisheries are absolutely shocked. Mashakuzi Yabaki, chief of Iwaki Fisheries Cooperative, said at a meeting with TEPCO officials, I don't understand why, meaning TEPCO, I don't understand why they kept silent even though they knew about it. Well, let me... Let me, as the correct views, your humble host, let me offer a reason why that might have been. For those of you that don't know, TEPCO, Tectro, TEPCO Electric Power Company, is General Electric Power Company. It's the Japanese arm of General Electric. Which is why you should never invest in uh, anything that has to do with General Electric. If you are in a mutual fund or a stock option that they are part of, get out of it solely to hose them over 
because they're going to give someone that you love cancer. Let me offer why General Electric, excuse me, TEPCO, same company, did this. The bottom line. Now, is there anybody? Let's pretend there's got to be somebody out of the people that are going to see this. Hillary Clinton fans, we have nothing in common. You and I disagree in every possible way. Radioactivity in the form of cesium causes cancer. You're listening to this because this is the one area where you and I are going to agree no matter what. TEPCO had previously sought the approval of local fishermen to dump groundwater into the ocean before it became tainted as a means of reducing the volume of water stored in the tanks at the reactor site. But due to this latest development, TEPCO fears a second round of approvals will be hampered and they will not be able to dump more water. Why would that be? Now, I, I get all these people telling me that I'm overreacting in the way that I report on this. Maybe, maybe not. But I can tell you this. I can tell you that I told you not to trust TEPCO. Now, do you still trust TEPCO? Now, Hillary Clinton supporter. I already said we don't agree. Hillary Clinton supporter. Do you trust TEPCO? Because I don't. Guess what? We agree. It's the only time it's going to happen. TEPCO admitted this past week that they did not disclose rainwater leaks containing radioactive substances that were found in a drainage ditch, thought to be contaminated after last spring's rains. They knew that the water likely contaminated high, can, excuse me, contained high radiation levels with radioactive particles like cesium, we've already explained its cancer-causing properties, even before it was dumped. You mean before it was dumped like we reported on here. Please hit subscribe. The ditch is in direct alignment with runoff from the roof of Reactor 2's building. TEPCO admits that it recorded 29,400 becquerels of radioactive cesium per liter in water pulled on the rooftop. The same water also contained 52,200 becquerels of beta ray emitting radioactive substances such as strontium-90, uh, if you don't know what strontium-90 is, look up strontium-90 bone cancer in a search engine. 1,050 becquerels of radioactive cesium. Well, Sam, I'm just the average Joe. What the hell is a becquerel? A becquerel is a radioactive mini-explosion that takes place on the cellular level inside your body. Every single explosion has the potential to affect another cell and create a problem in the way that that cell dies. If that cell doesn't die properly, it may start creating a whole bunch of cells that do not die properly. And if that happens, you have what's known as cancer. Yeah. Oh, you thought I didn't know anything, didn't you? The same water contained 52,200 becquerels of beta-emitting radioactive substances. Now listen to this. Yuri Moriyama, a TEPCO spokesman, spokesman said, we are aware that the levels of radioactive materials around the drainage ditch were higher than other places. He added that they didn't disclose the information because it was not considered harmful to the environment. Well, if you have 52,000 chances per second, of a cell deteriorating in a manner that would give you cancer, wouldn't you find that something that you might just want to be told about? 
It says the EU, which is the European Union for you hip-hop fans, and U.S. media, radio hip-hop, have also uncovered information about containing Fukushima leaks along the uh, TEPCO border. So look it up. Uh, it's over there. Um, friends, it doesn't get any worse than this. And for those of you that don't know, I'm posting two nights in a row. I've got so much Fukushima information that I am posting two nights in a row. It's going to be a double one this time. This is e, &E News. Navy sailors suffer strange deformities after Fukushima exposure. Quote, testicles, that would be your balls for you Kesha fans, swell to the size of tennis balls after pants got so contaminated that they set off radiation alarms. Quote, her arms swelled up Looked like a baseball mitt. His fingers turned yellow, even brown. Feet now dark red. No, I am not reading to you the ramblings of a drunk man. That's how other languages convert into English. More importantly, I am not reading to you the uh, terror of the latest horror story that I decided to write. No, these are facts. This is what happened to our men and women when Fukushima went red. And the radioisotopes that I'm about to comment on are still active. They're not dead yet. You know what a half-life is? If you don't look it up, please try to pay attention. You will find that these radioactive isotopes are as dangerous now as they were when this happened to these men and women. In other words, this could be happening to you. This could be happening to you if you live on the West Coast where I have told you not to live. This could be happening to you if you eat seafood off of the West Coast. This could be happening to you because of General Electric, which is TEPCO. Como 4 News Transcript, uh, this is the 11th, 2015 of February. Men and women sworn to serve now suffering from mysterious health problems. Local rescuers find themselves battling for the truth and their own survival. They had no idea of what was happening in coastal Fukushima. Three of six nuclear reactors suffered meltdowns, then several explosions. Again, if you're new to the topic, please look up what that means. Prevailing winds set most of that radiation over the Pacific, where the 7th Fleet was positioned. That's our boys. The sailors say no one aboard ship took any extra radiation protection measures for probably about a week. Aviation structural mechanic Ron Wright remembers one time the scanners went crazy over the trousers. It was just being like beep, 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 he says. I lost my pants. The Navy continuously reassured him. Within a month of operation, Tomodoki, I think it's T-O-M-O-D-A-C-H-I, he started experiencing painful swelling of the groin. That would be the family jewels for you top 40 fans. He's undergone three surgeries. That would be surgeries of his balls. But expects to suffer pain the rest of his life. Even more frightening... Wright's diagnosis of varicosity can lead to male infertility, the inability to have kids. In other words, here's what happened. He served his country. He served his country. And he did his best. They did not give him the ability to protect himself during a known meltdown and proceeded to tell him that every problem he has is somehow in his head 
as the male anatomy swells into the size of tennis balls. And we don't mean the sausage half. More of Wright's health problems, and with a link to it to prove that I'm not just uh, giving you my opinion, they had to turn in the things that were deemed to be contaminated, which were then burned, which of course sends the radioactivity into the sky because it doesn't die by burning. He had to turn in his pants and walk through the ship in his underwear, which of course contaminated his groin uh, directly because now he had no protection instead of poor protection. They always told us that they were safe. One month later, his testicles swelled up to the size of tennis balls. The pain was unbearable. A doctor on board recommended that the young sailor be flown out partially because he didn't know what Wright was actually suffering from. In other words, they sent our men and women into a nuclear meltdown caused by an earthquake that they knew about, caused by a tidal wave that they knew was going to hit the nuclear power plant and likely cause radioactive issues, if not the meltdown that it did and melt through and melt out. If you don't know what a melt out is, look it up. They gave him nothing to protect himself with whatsoever. Now, you might have just tuned in. You don't care about me. I'm just some idiot in a hat. You don't care about this guy. You have no idea who the hell he even is. Why don't you pretend it was you? Why don't you pretend it was your son or daughter and there were daughters on board and it's just as bad for the vagina? Why don't you pretend that was your kid and then see what your opinion is? It says, um, this is so, it's so horrible you don't even want to read it. It says, he had to turn in his pants and walk through the ship in his underwear. They always told us that we were safe. Of course, always. One month later, his testicles swelled up to the size of tennis balls and the pain was unbearable. This is the radioactive isotopes that are just as plentiful now as they were when they poisoned him. Look up what a half-life is, or just trust me, both of which are going to come out to be true. Those radioactive isotopes are still in the ocean and still in the Pacific Ocean, where you get your tuna from. Let me tell you what. While I might be a Christian in my private life, and I am, I am the worst example of a Christian that you have ever met. Really, I'm, I'm really not a very good example of a Christian at all. But I've never lied to people about something that I knew would give them cancer. Please listen to this. I'm giving you this information because if you just do a little bit of research, you will find that I am trying to save your life, even if you're going to be stupid enough to vote for Hillary Clinton. Um, PrisonPlanet.com, it's actually uh, only linked there. It's from End of the American Dream. It's where the site is originally sourced from. Michael Snyder, the New Madrid earthquake that will divide the United States in half. Now, why, Sam? Please, pray tell, why are you reporting on um, an earthquake in the United States if you claim that this is your Fukushima update? Do you realize how many nuclear power plants we have that could be affected by this if an earthquake was to hit in the area where there are nuclear plants running where they have no business running? Because if they melt down, they give you all of the horrible things that I just told you about to look up to prove that I was telling you the truth, which is why you're still listening. 
we need to shut down these plants and get the, uh, the nuclear waste from them as quickly as possible, friends. This is bad. This is really bad. Once upon a time, North America almost divided along a very deep subsurface, subsurface rift, writes Michael Snyder. Today, the rift system and the faults associated with it are known as the New Madrid Fault Zone. This fault zone is six times larger than San Andreas Fault in California, which you all know about, and it covers portions of Illinois, Indiana, Missouri, Arkansas, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Mississippi. Back in 1811 and in 1812, four of the largest earthquakes in U.S. history struck that area of the country. Why does that matter? Because it is the earthquake and not the tsunami, which caused half of the meltdowns in Fukushima. Therefore, we know that there is a very good likelihood that an earthquake without a tidal wave can trigger a meltdown. The movement of the ground was so powerful that it changed the course of the Mississippi River back in 1812, and it rang church bells in Boston, Massachusetts, which for those of you that don't know, isn't close to Missouri. So, you may ask, could such an earthquake or worse strike today? Well, last year, the U.S. Geological Survey released a report that warned that the New Madrid Fault Zone has the potential for larger and more powerful quakes than previously thought, and there is a link for it at uh, Prison Planet and End of American Dream. It says the USGS also admits that the number of significant earthquakes in the middle part of the country has more than quadrupled in recent years. It goes on that we also know that the U.S. government and large corporations are also concerned about the potential for a major New Madrid earthquake, that they have held major exercises that stimulate one. Scientists, it says, tell us that it's just a matter of time until a major superquake hits the region. And personally, writes Mike Snyder, I am one of the millions of Americans that believe that we will eventually see a new Madrid earthquake that will divide the United States in half. Do you doubt that? Well, you're not doubting me. You're doubting, you're doubting Michael Snyder. So do me a favor, before you leave me hate in my comment line, look up Michael Snyder and see how much he's been right on. It's bad. Really, really not good news here, friends. Not at all. It says, what everyone can agree on is that there is an area of significant geological weakness under the New Madrid Fault Zone. This area of weakness formed when the continents were breaking up. The rift that formed it did not end up splitting the North American continent at that time. But the area of weakness remains, and this is from uh, Wikipedia. It says that the faults responsible for the New Madrid seismic zone are embedded in the subsurface geological feature known as the rift that formed during the breakup of supercontinent Rodinia in the Neoprotozoic area about 75 million years ago. Uh, That's about when uh, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was born. The resulting rift uh, system failed to split the ancient faults appear to have made the earth crust in the New Madrid area mechanically weaker than much of the rest of North America. This relative weakness, it goes on, is important 
because it would allow the relatively small east-west compressive forces associated with the continuing continental drift, another link, of the North American plate to reactive old faults around New Madrid. What does all this mean? It means that if we are not careful, and if we do not stop the building of nuclear power plants, then we are in fact looking at a situation where we're going to have more problems with nuclear radioactive elements contaminating us giving us cancer and hurting us than ever before. Friends, I got two stories left to go. I'm going to post again tomorrow. Um, who pays for all of this to happen? There's a camera there. There's a camera there. There's lights. There's lights. There's lights. Who pays for all of this? Mike McLaughlin, for one. You can look him up. He's a writer. A Mike, M-I-K-E. M-A-C, laugh, L-I-N. He's a writer. He's a poet. And I am so proud to have a writer as a sponsor, a major sponsor of this show. Because when's the last time, even Stephen King, we'll go to one of the most popular writers of our time, Stephen King. When's the last time you saw an advertisement for Stephen King anywhere? You know. Because America doesn't read. But if you're one of the people that watch the Fukushima update, you're smart. You read. You know what's going on in real life. And you want to read good fiction. Do me a favor. Look up Mike McLaughlin on Facebook.com. Tell him you heard about it from the correct views. And let him know you want to read some of his fiction. Because Sam I.B. told you it was really good. And I will stand by that. Friends, ynetnews.com report, U.S. cuts Israel out of Iran talks. Sam, why in seven hells are you speaking about Iran? Fukushima happened in Japan. At least I hope that's what you were asking. Otherwise, you're painfully lost. There are two things that I believe. And the first one is not opinion. The first one is that Iran wants to build a nuclear power plant on a known fault line. The last people that predicted a terrible earthquake in an earthquake zone were the people that predicted Fukushima. These same people are predicting an earthquake in Iran. Therefore, Iran should not build a nuclear power plant. Now, for those of you that say, America has built nuclear power plants on top of fault zones, that is an equally stupid idea, but there's nothing you can do about plants that are already built. There's nothing you can do about plants that were built before you did a show. However, there are things that you can do to prevent them from repeating the same freaking mistakes. Part two, that is opinion. If Islam cannot get along well enough among its own dissenting factions to stop blowing each other up with conventional bombs, why should we trust them to not blow up the nuclear power plant just because it doesn't agree with their form of Islam? It says that the White House denies Channel 2 report claiming U.S. has stopped updating Israel about developments in nuclear negotiations with Iran in response to Netanyahu's planned congressional speech after Boehner, Boehner admits that he failed to tell the administration he invited the PM. Now, the I'm no fan of Boehner Boehner. But he's right on this. 
the GOP has let down freedom, but not like Obama has. They're mad because Netanyahu was invited to the shindig and they were not. Well, let me tell you what. The reason that that might have happened, it might be because